Welcome! Today I brought out my Metrohead Extra Meter made by Gossen. And normally I use the by Gossen provided probes. They're great, but I shorted out a capacitor and the tip got burned, so I put them away and took these Chinese probes out and tried to measure my stuff. But then something really weird happened. Uh, the display didn't show constant readings. And if I put the props together, you will see them. Bam. So, what is that? Even if I really, really push hard on the probes, I will get like 4 or 5 ohm if they read out. I don't know why. I've changed out the plug, so it isn't the plug's fault. And I can't really work with them. I don't know why. I, I um, was flabbergasted by this result. I really need to put hard pressure on the probe and pierce the chrome coating of my probes to get it to it. So if I just lay the two surfaces on it, it won't do it. Look, it's, it's really weird. And these are not the only probes that have this feature. i show you another ones. So here they are, a different form. But the same stuff occurs. Well, this time it will work. That's weird. That's really weird. 5 ohms. Maybe it has something to do that these are feathers or banana plaques, if you want to call them. But still, it's not constant. There we go. Do you see that? But if I pl to pluck the banana plaque directly into it, bam. 0 0.07 ohms. That's what you expect. And not this crappy bullshit of 15 ohms or some kilo ohms or even mac ohms. What 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 is that? Why does it do that? That's a problem I've never had. So of course I needed some new test leads and a friend of mine gave me his old Voltcraft probes and even with a slight touch nope well they do the same that's really weird it is really weird And these are some cheap Fluke, Fluke uh, points or probes. And they just work. 0.3 ohms, 0.2 ohms. That's all right for me. That that will work. Well, at least it's consistent. There you go. Slight touch. And it jumps around. That's something. That's a problem I've never had with my Gossen points. And the most 
And the easiest part is to replace them with Gossen ones again, but they are 50 bucks. 50. They're really expensive, but you say a slight touch, bang. And when I press it down, it, it doesn't change. They just bang on. I, I don't know why these are so much better than the other ones. But hey, I don't have 50 bucks. So now I bought um, a nice Fluke set. This is a 3-in-1 um, set. It has three features included. I put the old uh, caps on them I had with the other probes for my Gossen because they have also banana plugs. Normally you unscrew the banana plug for these tips so you can put the sleeve on it by twisting them. But it's it takes so much time. So I just put the other sleeves on them. I, I like to poke around and put them in banana plaques. I just use them regularly. They're also fine. Just a slight touch. And then you have your uh, reading. And they work just fine. As the Gossen ones. And this is how a probe should be. And it's really weird to me why all these other cables, these ones, and even these, or the Fluke ones, and the Volcraft ones, and these Chinese ones where I put a, another plug on them, all these are crap. So there's just one thing for me to do. Bye bye you stupid test leads nobody needs and won't work on. Oh, man, I hate those. Oh, and P.S. Do you know why these test leads are so bad? Is it the chrome coating on the tip? Do I twist the handle too much? Is it the cheap copper that it's used? Tell me right down in the comments. Because I didn't expect them. They look and feel very nice. The cord is really flexible. The isolation is uh, with done with two colors so you will always see when the isolating part rubs up so write me down in the comments what you think and why these probes won't work.